the best gear is the gear that you don't have to think about and it's only dawned on me that I've been using my Chrome Cadet sling bag pretty regularly, I would say three to seven to plus times per week for the past five years. And if you're looking to carry stuff on your back, whether it's for an afternoon or a day or even a couple of days, I don't say this lightly, but this is the perfect bike bag. Speaking of perfect, this video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. For top tier steel fixed gears that are meticulously handcrafted, that are the most fun bikes that I've ever thrown a leg over, be sure to check out Wabi Cycles, linked in the description, and stick around until the end of the video to learn more about them. If you've ever gone on a fixed gear group ride, you've probably seen a couple of these bags, or at the very least, a couple knockoffs of these bags, and the reason is, it's just a really dang good bag. This is my favorite bag ever, and for a lot of you watching this video that also have this bag, is probably your favorite bag ever too and the bag that gets the most use out of any that you have. At just nine liters, the Chrome Cadet is the perfect size for going out for an afternoon or a day. It's everything you need and nothing you don't. In my bag, and mine is stuffed to the gills by the way, like I have all of my bike tools, the big boy hydro flask, a cable lock, and a pump. On top of that, there's even a dividing pocket where you could toss your phone and even some pen holders where I like to keep a Tide pen for those emergency situations. And even with all this stuff in here, I could still fit in a couple of snacks. And the thing with Chrome bags is that everything is pretty thoughtful, pretty useful, and it's put there to make carrying stuff on your back and on your bike more comfortable. There's even a little D-ring inside so that you can hook your keys on and always know where they are, not have to rifle through all your belongings. Super great, useful details, even down to the very small stuff, like there's this tiny, uh, tiny tab to help you close the bag when it's super full. And then you also have this outside pocket where I like to keep some other stuff like a front headlight. Chrome also included their uh, famous seatbelt strap so you could get it on and off without having to, you know, try to fish it through your helmet. Super easy, super comfortable. The strap is nice and thick, and it's a three-point strap so that it's not swinging around when you're riding your bike. Once you try out riding with the three-point strap and with Chrome's quick-release seatbelt buckle to fasten your strap, it's really hard to go back to anything else because this is just a really clever design that makes riding a lot easier and packing stuff a lot easier. The strap is nice and big and comfortable. At no point do I have any shoulder pain, even when I'm carrying a U-lock. Now the U-lock holster, super clever design and also just really comfortable. It just slots in into the uh, back of the bag. It's nice thick padding on the back so it's not digging into you at all and it doesn't take up any space inside the bag and it's nice and neat and tucked away and very secure. This strap is so big and comfortable that I'm able to carry my camera with it with the Peak Design capture clip. And I have a huge camera. It's like six pounds with the camera lens body and the microphone. At least on this model, this back panel is reflective. It gives you a little bit of extra visibility at night so you don't get hit by a car because that's a major bummer. The thing about Chrome is that they give you a lot of useful options on their bags. It's up to you whether you want to use them or not and whether you find them useful or not and how creative you want to be with packing your bag and carrying stuff on your bike. Occasionally, I will strap on a light to these bottom straps. It would have been nicer to have a molly strap on the front so for better visibility, but this works pretty well in a pinch. I've stuffed jackets into these straps. I've stuffed a tripod. What you do with these outside straps is really up to you and how you want to carry your stuff. Like even if you want easier access to your keys because you're locking up all the time, you could just flick on your carabiner and you're good to go. The only thing that I think would make this bag better is if it was waterproof. It's a bit water resistant, like the zippers are pretty tight, but it's not waterproof. If you're in a heavy downpour, the stuff inside is going to get damp, maybe not drenched. If you're really worried about stuff getting wet inside, just put it in a plastic bag. And from stuff is really well built. I've been using this very regularly over the past five years and it's still in good shape. I mean, there's still scuffs in the reflective panel, but it still holds its shape. It's still super comfortable. Everything still works. The seatbelt buckle is still anodized. I've had issues with other chrome buckles chipping, but this is my most used bag and it's still holding up very well. And the back panel is a little pilly but that is to be expected since I scrubbed this thing and cleaned it recently. 
but clean your bags. If you don't, that's nasty. So for just a hundred dollars, or $60 if it's on sale, and they sometimes do go on sale. The Chrome Cadet is 100% worth it, and if you're thinking about a bike bag that's not too big, doesn't need to carry a laptop or anything like that, is a perfect size for just going out for an entire day and riding, carrying snacks, water tools. This is it. The reason these are so popular is because they're so dang good, and for me, and for, I know a lot of you, this is the perfect bike bag. The only potential downside that I see is that for some people, it may look too plain, too utilitarian, and that's kind of Chrome's MO. But if you can deal with how it's styled, I think it looks pretty cool, just how simple and clean it is. This is a great bag. Speaking of things that are great, this video is sponsored by Wobby Cycles. Wobbies are the most fun bikes that I've ever ridden. Period. And a big reason I only own one bike and it's a Wobby is because it's the best bike I've ridden. I don't need to own multiple bikes when I just want to ride the best bike. Part of the reason that makes Wobby so fun to ride is that they are meticulously handcrafted here in Taiwan. I'm in Taichung, Taiwan. I visited the factory. I'm super stoked about that video and it was just really cool to meet the people that built my bike and to see Wobby specials being made. But anyway, they're meticulously handcrafted out of top tier and lightweight, springy and lively Reynolds 725 tubing or Columbus Spirit tubing, which is some of the lightest steel tubing that money can buy. And if you're super picky about your bike, Wobby He's got you covered because you can choose every single component on your bike. You can customize down to the very fine details so that you can have your buttery smooth dream bike right out of the box. Thanks to Wabi for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out linked in the description. Fixie famous shout outs to Julia and Corona, Brandon Black, Brent David, Marion Perez, and Tad Onchi. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. <laughs> for helping to make these fix your videos possible through your support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter. So be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.